Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, first, I want to thank Renee for this beautiful, cool shirt she got me in my favorite color. Totally matches my birthday manicure. Thank you so much, Renee. So why am I here with an unopened box? So my birthday is in five days. It's always been March 22nd. And I got the Deluxe Ninja Creamy for my birthday. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you know I love the regular Ninja Creamy. So why did I need the Deluxe? Well, let me explain. I loved everything about it except for one thing, the volume that it put out because they have these pints. Well, a pint is a pint. And if you're making vegan, low fat, soft serve, I mean, you can eat the whole pint yourself. And it really was only enough to serve my husband and me. And I just, it was such a pain. Like if I had another couple over like Tom and Tammy Kramer who now live up the street, I'd have to spoon an extra pint. And like, who's got an extra two minutes and 17 seconds? And I just said, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, that's the laugh of recognition. I'm like, why can't they make bigger pints? Well, somebody must have heard me in the company. So I've got the bigger machine. But the problem is I'm dyslexic. I've never read a book in my life or at least a book that comes with. So whenever I have a problem with any type of equipment, I call my dear friend, Kathy Hester. She is the most wonderful teacher in general, but especially not just when it comes to cooking, but when it comes to figuring out machines, whether it's an air fryer, a, you know, a pressure cooker, a blender, a milk maker. She's got the mind of a wizard, of a scientist, and she knows how to do it. So I figured, I said, Kathy, for my birthday, will you come on and just kind of show me this machine, why it's different? So we're not here to argue what the best machine is, because we already know it's the Ninja Creamy, hands down. It's the only one that's scoopable. It's based on PacoJet technology. None of the other machines make scoopable, refreezable ice cream. But I want people to know if they already have the machine, I don't want you to have to get this one. But if you don't have it, and especially if you have a family, you might want to consider this one because the company is giving a 22% discount because my birthday is March 22nd, but only on my birthday. So it'll be something like 12 midnight or 12.01 a.m. on March 22nd till 11.59. If you're on my mailing list, we're going to have all that information to you. And I'll also put it in the show notes. But to explain the difference between the two creamies, we have the author of the Ninja Creamy Experience, which she is offering at a discount for my birthday. It's the best course because you just can, I don't know, it's the best. What can I tell you? I'm saying the word best a lot. Please welcome Kathy Hester. Hey, everybody, and happy birthday. Happy early birthday, but you should get at least a week, minimum, yeah. or yeah. a whole birthday month. A whole month, March, birthday month. I'm, I'm, you know, people are sending presents. I'd so appreciate it, man. But but isn't this cool? I mean, I, you know, I'm not really a girly girl, Kathy, but I love art, and I just love the way they did my nails today. I think they look awesome, and I love that shirt. So you're going to have to send me the link about the shirt because that's that's my color. You know, I will find out from Renee because apparently it's a famous artist, and she actually sent me uh, not these earrings but a different earring. So I will find out, and believe me, because I know that your birthday is in May. Close. April. April. Okay, April well, but it's at the end of April. I'm a Taurus. Right. And that's pretty obvious. Wow. <laughs> Well, is yeah, there, Tauruses are, you know, who else is it? A lot of people. Well, yeah, fantastic. Well, Tauruses are really good when it comes to food stuff. We are supposed to be. And I just love gadgets. And I love what you said. And I want to just reiterate one time. And I've got both of mine out. I've got a Ninja Creamy Deluxe and the Ninja Creamy. So what I want you to hear right now is if you have a Ninja Creamy already, you don't need the Deluxe to do some of the special fancy things or at least one of the fancy things we're doing today. And if you look in the show notes now or later on, Chef AJ will tell us that. Um, I have videos where I show you how in both of these machines to make a creamy chino, in both of these machines, how to make like an icy slushy. So it's where it's not a button and a particular recipe, it can be done. The, the one thing I think, that you love chef aj is that the the new one does three cups at a time instead of two cups i have a little bone to pick and they call them both pints and i mean i still have to ask the a word over there that i can't say her name or she'll start talking how many cups are in a quart so don't get me confused about a pint but just know it's think of it as when they say pint, they mean container. And this is the original container. 
But you ready to start unboxing? Yep. Okay. You not, now you got me. Now you got me questioning how many cups are in a pint in a quart. Is two. It it's two. And I know okay. because then they call this Ninja Cre Creamy Deluxe Pint. And so it's calling it, you know, a deluxe, you know, so then is a quart a deluxe pint? I don't know. It makes me, it makes me get a little esoterical and it's not helpful for any of us. Oh my God, Nina and Randa are watching. I love those girls. How are you? I miss you. I used to live near them and spend Thanksgiving with them. All right. So you know what I'm going to do, Kathy, is I'm going to go side by side view, which I don't usually do. So okay. hopefully I can get this. Oh my God. Charles, I knew this would happen. It's too heavy. I need Charles You'll have to tell me if you can't see something that I'm showing you for side by side, because we're not on top of each other, right? We're right, side, we're by, side side. by side. Charles, can you help me? I knew I wouldn't be able to get it. It's heavy. It, I mean, the box is heavy. I'm sure once we get it out, it's not going to be so bad. You don't have to come on camera if you don't want. And what I do with those boxes, because I'm not super strong, is I turn them over like on the counter and lift the box up. Because um, there have been some, actually, some other appliances I've been playing with. And Cheryl's like, you can't get that out of the box. And I'm like, no, but gravity can. So know that that's... <laughs> That's not so bad. It's a common. Is there a book in there? Yeah, there should be a couple of things. So in there, you're going to get like this quick start and you'll see me over here possibly referencing. I just, you can get all of them online too. So I've pulled up the three different things, the recipe booklet, the quick start guide and the proper manual, which no one but me reads. So if we have questions, I can go and find. Yay. Now, right. one of the first things you'll see is like on here, you've got a little um, thing to pull off. And so there'll be some things in there now. Yeah. We and so it came with two of these. Yes. And so you can kind of see the deluxe pint has ridges and is a little bit longer. You're going to see some for me. I only have two and they have the things we're going to demo in a little bit in the freezer. Can I have the book? There is no book. You know, maybe I took the book out and just don't remember. Okay. Doing. Now, the one thing I want to tell you, and Chef AJ, you're probably doing it now. I only see half of you. So you're trying to twist it. Right. But what you want to do is pull straight out. So, oh, like, the, wow, difference right there. Thank you. And I spent a long time when I did my unboxing video thinking I was never going to get that out. So, the difference is, is that you twist over here. And this one you pull out and it feels wrong when you're not used to it. Remember the time I called you because I kept getting an error and it's because I didn't put the blade in? Yes. <laughs> and so if you're wondering, and here I can even show a little bit of a close-up of the overhead view. So, and we can see the two. There we go. Can you see both of those if I have it in the middle? Yeah. Okay. So the bigger one is the Ninja Creamy Deluxe. This is the, the original is what we're calling it. They're not calling it anything. And a couple of things other than being bigger, one of the things that I think is very much, so to get this blade out, you move this at the top. It opens these, see? See how that opens and closes? And the blade, has more, more pieces to it, like as far as, it's not really serrated, but like more ridges. And also it's a little bit deeper. So you see how that's deeper than this? So I think the blade is pretty much improved. Also, I've noticed on the top, there's a couple of places that just, I don't know why that's there, but it is. So, and again, to open this up, I just turned over grab this, it opens that. And you can see this mechanic uh, mechanism in here and you can see through it, I think a little bit better. See how you can see some of the stuff inside. Now, one of the things you wanna do when you're cleaning it is you're gonna run water through that little hole there at the top and then water comes out these sides. And that cleans out the top part. So that's just Im something important you're going to want to remember. So where are we, Chef AJ? What's next on your? 
Oh, well, so far what I did is I, I took the, I put the blade in and I pushed the thing back in. It's interesting because the little drill pressy thing, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. Is it, it kind of sticks oh. out in this one. I don't remember it sticking out. It in does this stick one. out more. And you know what? Let me see if I can um, get my other camera. Woo! It's sturdy. <laughs> I just dropped it. Um, I just dropped the top and it's all fine. Wow, okay. your, your, your Ninja Creamy is collecting dust apple. Why? It's so awesome. All you got to do is throw in a can of Dole pineapple, freeze it, and you have Dole Whip. I mean, there couldn't be an easier machine. So this is the one on the new one. And you're, this is the one on the old one. So there's a little bit of difference. I think it's a little bit longer. Come on, there we go. Does not want to, there, you can kind of see it. Okay, so that's what you're talking about. So I've got this so I can show some nooks and crannies as we go. And one thing to know too for everybody is who's new, so what happens is this comes down. So it's, it's like a bar, it comes down and this cleans everything off. It doesn't let anything get back up in there. It scrapes it all off. But what I usually do is then take a piece of a wet paper towel or a clean dishcloth and just wipe it off. As long as you do that, it won't be built up. Got it. Yeah, thank you, because you already helped me because I wouldn't have known about pulling it out because I was treating this like the old one and trying to twist it. <laughs> I did it too, Chef AJ, and it's on my YouTube channel for everyone to see as much as they want to. Okay, so another thing to kind of look at are the differences in these buttons. So let me see if I can turn it around and just show you a little bit this way. We'll go back to that other view. Because this is the one of the things. Let's see. Nope, wrong camera. There we go. All right. You're gonna see the where I'm you can see Chef AJ over there. Wow, this usually. There we go. All right. So you see there's a big button in the middle, and it has on the left hand side scoopable things yeah. like ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, gelato, and frozen yogurt. And there is a model that maybe didn't count frozen yogurt. So some, some deluxe said 10 and one, some said 11 and one, they're the same. On the right hand side, it says drinkable, creamy Chino, think Frappuccino, frozen drink, think <coughs> mocktail margaritas, or something like that, slushy, um, you can use different juices or smoothies or different things like that, a milkshake and Italian ice. And Italian ice is pretty much like sorbet. I did a video on it, but I didn't see a whole lot different. Okay. So before we just had these buttons, we still have mix in and respin on the other and the power button. So that's one thing to know. Another thing is once we put it in, we have to say, do we want to do, we can do just half a pint. And by do, I mean spin. So are we doing the top? Are we doing the bottom at once to know? Are we doing it full? And for all the drinks, you're going to pick full. What does and that then, mean? Are we doing the top? Are we doing the bottom? Oh, okay. We, we can do that with the ice cream. It means it will only spin it halfway down. Wait, why would you just, why would you push? Because also my thing says press to begin processing. So is this a little bit different than the other one? What you it press? It is. It totally is. So this one doesn't have a button, right? We just, we just press whatever our thing was and it go about its business. This way we can set it up and press it to okay. start it. Got it. So, so, and so, so if, you have, if the container's full, then you press full. Right. And if, if it, you only want it to spin half the pint, let's say 
you Charles made you strawberry ice cream for your birthday, but he really needs a snack. So he doesn't want to spend all of it because he's going to save half of it for you for later. Or maybe Charles wants to put some mix in it. Maybe he wants to do some chopped chocolate in his strawberry. So you could spin half of it, do the mix in for half of it, scoop it out, and then we can make yours without the mix in. I've never done mixing. I am such a one trick pony, Kathy, with instant, with everything. It's like, I know only one button. I've never done a mix in. And, you know, people are saying they don't have ice cream in the winter, like Karen, why not? You know, we didn't have any for a little while and I'd had some pints. So I brought out, we had lemon yogurt. I made, I got this flavoring called princess cake that I'd never heard, which I guess is vanilla, citrus, and, and almond. So it would be real easy to make that naturally too. Um, but we do a lot of Dole Whip. I mean, it just kind of feels like you're going to Disney. I mean, you, if you have a heater, what's it? why can't you have ice cream or, you know, in the, in the winter? <laughs> it's, it's very true. Um, but a lot of people don't. But the weather here, like today, it's been really nice. It was in the high 70s a couple of weeks ago and then it went back down into the 50s and freezing at night so but yeah i'm i'm team ice cream all the time yeah especially when it's scoopable and that's i one of the things and you and i both really agree on this we agree on a lot of things but we really agree on the ninja creamy is that while there are other ways can, you know people are always saying can you make it in your blender Yes, but not this consistency. Can it's you use a Yonana? It's yes, not scoopable it's... in a blender and it's not respinnable in a blender. Right. And and one of the beautiful things is, so I had gotten like an, a fairly expensive fancy ice cream maker, at least as much as these guys. And I had put some, um, made some whole food plant-based, no oil ice cream in it, like a quart, which we're not going to eat. And we ate what we ate and we froze the rest. It was hard as a rock and there's no way to get it back to that consistency very easily, you know, unless you're mixing it up with your hand or doing something like that. And what I love about this is every time you're coming out to eat ice cream, it's, it's kind of makes you feel like you've gone into an ice cream shop that had your favorite flavor that fits your diet right? It doesn't have anything you're not allergic to. It doesn't have any oil in it. If you can't have nuts, you can make it with oats. If you can't have oats, you can make it with cashews. Do you know what I mean? Like there's so, you can sweeten it with whatever you want to sweeten it with or with um, crushed pineapple or applesauce. With the pineapple, I don't put anything in it. With the applesauce, a lot of times I'll put a couple of medjool dates in there because it makes it taste like caramel apple. But you could do it without putting anything in there. So you're with Cheryl, who doesn't like fruit, she will eat fruit every day if it's a ninja creamy ice cream. Yeah, nice. Do we have any other questions yet? Oh, sorry, I'm I'm here to learn, so I don't think I even look. Oh, at I'm that sorry. I thought you were looking at that. What? Tell me what you want let's, me. Let's see, um, guys. If you have questions, just put them in the chat. Uh, Lisa makes makes this for her son every day. He's super picky, but he'll eat it if he makes some almond milk and put protein powder in it. I mean, there's entire Facebook groups and Instagram pages oh. devoted to the creamy. I mean, that hey, Kathy, you didn't happen to see the movie The Menu, did you? I did. It was so scary, but I, I mean, I'm sorry, Kathy, the other Kathy, Kathy Fisher made me see it and it's, I'm still having nightmares, but what was interesting about that movie is they had the Paco jet. Yes. Yes. And so in the Paco jet, isn't like the entry level, I think is $5,000 and there's a $10,000 one. So their um, patent went off of how they made the Paco jet and Ninja Creamy made this based on technology people have been used for a long time. And there are other things you can do with it. And I'm going to be pushing it a little more this summer as well, but like fancy, super smooth soups. So they'll take like split pea soup and freeze it in a Paco jet and spin it and then heat it up because they can make it smoother that way than they can 
using a blender or a mixer or something like that. So it's very, very interesting. Nice. But it really works well for the whole food plant-based no oil people in specific. And there is a, a whole food plant-based um, Ninja Creamy Facebook group because I'm an expert in there. It's not my group, but I go and answer questions, especially if you tag me. Oh, that's great. Nice. Well, maybe show how to use it from the beginning, like from the plugging in part and the, uh, hey, you know, it actually says right on the thing, pull straight back. But see, I would have totally missed that. I didn't see it either. So I tell you, um, okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do just the regular ice cream first. I've got the pints in here. Oh. <laughs> and and see, I put on here Chef A Chef AJ's strawberry birthday ice cream. So it's special for you. And um, I'm not going to show plugging it in just because it's over here. So you want to plug it in first, right? There's another thing. We're going to go through the whole shebang. You want to plug this in, or not plug this in. You want to freeze this for about 24 hours. And that's because it needs to be frozen in the very middle. And once you know your freezer is a little bit colder or something like that, you may not have to. Now I want you to see, do you see the hump? See that hump there? So we want this to be as flat as we can. And so a lot of people are like, I'm not going to do that. That seems really hard. Look how hard it is. Ooh, so hard. <laughs> and this is straight out of the freezer. You can also leave it out for a couple of minutes before you spin it. And then I just kind of level it out a little bit. And what this is going to do is this does a couple of things. So most of the time, like before we came in here and started making the Ninja Creamy, our whole food plant-based poster child, it was using a lot of fat, a lot of sugar, like other ice creams. So that's why a lot of times we want to make sure our, that we're doing everything we can to prolong the machine. And that just, because it's harder. It's more of a sorbet, more of a light ice cream. And I tell people, those are the two settings you're gonna use most of the time. It's sorbet, sorbet and light ice cream are the two settings we're gonna use most of the time. Yeah. And basically it's just expecting a harder interior. And so what I always do, so I've scraped this, right? So I'm gonna taste it too. You'd like this. I made it with fresh strawberries. I happen to have a quarter fresh strawberries. And so what I'm tasting for is if and probably when I re-spin it, you could also add in some date paste or non-dairy milk because it's probably going to be not creamy the first time around. So just know that. Okay. So now we're going to take this. And you see how this has holes in it. This has little feet. And what I always do is I just twist it and make sure it's on there. You saw me put this on. And this works exactly the same way as the other one. Come up a little bit. Okay, yeah, so it, that's it, all. It, it is. It's the same. It's just bigger. You know, what's interesting, Kathy, is a couple months ago on my show, you made your famous strawberry shake, which Charles and I love and we make all the time. And there was leftover and I froze it. But when I spun it, it wasn't as good as the shake. No. And it's because <clears throat> when I'm making the shakes like that, you don't have to make them as creamy and dense, the actual mix. So this, and I know I sent it to you and I didn't bring it over here. I think I used half a cup of oats and two tablespoons of cashews. You could also use a cashew butter or like if you have joy cashew. If you don't want to use cashews at all, if you're nut free, that's okay too. Then add a little extra oats. But what we're doing is we're making the, thick, the mixture creamier and light cream. So we're trying to make our whole food plant-based version of half and half. And when we're doing the shakes, 
they're just so good the way they are. You're not like digging at it with a spoon and stuff. So you just don't notice the same way. And can you see everything here? Yeah. Okay. So we just put it in that way and then we still turn it. And so for you guys, do you see how it's turning up? And it locks it. Okay. And I'm going to turn the power on and see how it's, it's being really leading. So see how those are blinking? And do you want me just to do half so you can see how that looks? Or do yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I never understood why they would do that. But oh, wait. Sure. No, we want the top. And so it also gives you minutes. And we're going to go to light ice cream. When, when you said half, what do you mean by half? Because you you have your, your, your quart or pint or whatever you want to call it is full, right? It is full, but we are only going to. So like it's, the processing is going to stop here. That's the difference. And so I had to go, oh, top half, not but I had picked bottom half, which was not going to be helpful. <laughs> and also then it would have tried to rush down a little faster. Oh, so so what you're saying is this button. It, OK, so if you want to spin the whole thing, you just pick full. Yeah. And you, I, we can do that, too. And if you're and you spin it on light ice cream, right? Yeah, I'm going to spin this on light ice cream. But if you wait a minute, that makes no sense. So if you wanted to spin, why would you want to spin the bottom half if you didn't spin the top? Because then you couldn't get it out. It's for next time. It's after you spin the top half. So if I spin the top half, I scoop that out for us tonight. Let's say that. Let's say we eat half of the bigger pints. So then I put the top lid on. I smooth it, put the lid on, put the other half in there. And then I can just come back and do it. You can spin it another way, but typically it's for specific use cases like somebody wants to mix in, somebody else doesn't want to mix in. Or what if Charles likes chocolate and you like strawberry? Now you only have these two creamy pints that fit in here right now. You could do half a recipe of chocolate, let it freeze for a little bit, put your other one on top, and then you could just do half. So that's something else you could, what I probably would do is make both mixtures, two pints, put different ones on, you know, in first, like strawberry in one first, chocolate in one the other, let it freeze for maybe 10, 15 minutes to an hour, pour the rest of it on. See, it's things you're never going to do, Chef AJ, is really what it is. So, okay, we're going to just, just so you can kind of see, and it tells you the minutes, and then... It is loud, so I'm going to walk away, and you'll see it come down a little bit. <laughs> so if I come away from it a little bit, so what's happening right now is that rod's coming out of the top, hooking into where the blade is, spinning the blade, and it's basically shaving its way down because we picked the top half only. It should stop after the top half. And you guys can see right now, see around the top, you can see the blade starting to scrape it. And that's, it's called the creamy fire blade because that's what makes it nice and creamy. Now know this, if you haven't used yours yet or not much, it's probably not gonna be perfect after the first spin. We're probably gonna re-spin it. We might even have to re-spin it two times, add a little more non-dairy milk, or if it wasn't sweet enough, you could add a little date syrup, date paste, any of those things in there as well. Any liquid ingredients. I do find that having the times on here is kind of nice. I don't know, I'm gonna come up closer again so I can kind of see from where you're seeing. It's hard to see the blade after it starts. And you can hear, you can hear some of the sounds changing and it's all okay. If you're in an apartment building, you may not be able to do this at 1130 at night. 
Okay, so it was the when the sound changed, that was it actually reversing, coming back up through that softer ice cream. Okay, so there's still a button over here. You push to get this to come down, but you pull it out this way. Okay, so let's take a look from overhead. No, the, the strawberry ice cream isn't just strawberries. The only thing that's just one fruit is like if you take the canned fruit, like pineapple. You can, I have a recipe. So like in, I have both a book for sale and the whole Ninja Creamy experience. But like, let me see if I can find this real quick. It's a sorbet, but I call, I actually made the strawberry one for this. And it's canned pears and strawberries and a little lemon juice and that's it. The pears actually sweeten it. I got that idea from you, Chef AJ. Do you, do you mush it up together? Yeah, I blend almost all of my blends. So what I want you to see and you're now you're going, you're a liar, look at that. That doesn't look like ice cream at all. That's why, but see, if you see over near the corner, you can see where it's starting to really come together. And it only went halfway. And that's what's kind of cool. So I think if you had a kid or a picky eater or something like that, what this means is it needs to be respun. I can also go ahead and add a little bit of milk. This is some oat cashew milk. No, I, it's oat milk, plain oat milk that I made. I made a bunch of milks this week. I'm just gonna put like a tablespoon. And I'm gonna... Go ahead and get all this lovely stuff back in there. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight across, but I'm also taking this because I want it all to get mixed up lovely together. You don't have to be as picky would be the nice word, right? I, sometimes I get a little bit like, ooh, let's do it this way. That's a better way. And honestly, it's going to work out fine. You never want to use the respin button until you've already used one of the other buttons in that particular session. And what do I mean by that? I mean, if we take this other half and we put it back in the freezer, when it comes out of the freezer, it has to go through one of the normal spins. It can't just go to respin, it's too hard. Okay, so in this way up press and these are buttons across here so you press the top or full okay and we're not going to do any of these this time so we're do, you, go do, you, do you spin the dial before you press the button you spin it and it lights up the thing you want um no you at for the oh here to get these guys yeah you spin the dial and it's not going to let you spin over here unless you have full so that's the way that goes. But we're going to press respin. And it starts just like the Ninja Creamy original did. It's a shorter cycle. I'm trying to get away so I can so you can hear me. It's a shorter cycle. You can hear that it's I mean it's still loud, but it's not as loud. You can hear that the blade is moving a little bit slower because it's not really trying to shave that frozen block. It's trying to mix this in really good. Now it's possible that I could have added a little bit too much non-dairy milk because I'm not used to spinning half a pint. So if that were the case, I'd probably continue and spin the whole pint. But, oh, and you can hear the sound of it trying to come up. Because And you can see it a little bit from the side. I don't know if you guys can see it from the front that the blade is coming back up. Okay. So let's take a look now and then we'll see if it needs anything else. And it takes a while getting used to pulling it out, Chef AJ. Oh, I think it's perfect. And you could have... We could have probably, see, look at that. It's nice and thick. 
Can you see how thick it is? And so all that's in here, though, are dates, oats, a little bit of cashews, or you could use extra oats, and fresh strawberries, and a vanilla. I put some vanilla in there, too. But see how you, and Chef AJ, you tell me, if you were here, would you have rather me not put in some of the extra liquid and just seeing if I needed to spin it a second time or is this still? No, that, that looks like the perfect texture to me. That looks, and people are saying they don't like hard ice cream. They're not understanding that there's a difference between being scoopable and being too hard. Right. There's a big difference. And let's take a look at that right now. So it's not like soft serve and I'm going to use this oxo muffin scoop don't use this with real hard ice cream that's from the freezer that's not like this because you'll break it cheryl broke two doing <laughs> doing that with store-bought and see look how pretty that is that is so perfect and then there's when you're done showing off we'll get to some questions in the chat showing off i'm not showing off i mean that's not a perfect off. scoop Look at that. Because when I spun the milkshake, it didn't look like that. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, when you I mean, it didn't look like all, you know, shiny and scoopable when I used the milkshake formula. Oh, you explain yeah. why. And yeah, and see, and when we're looking at it too, let's get a spoon so you see what I'm talking about. So it's like it's at the perfect temperature. See how you see a little bit of glisten there? <sighs> so we're not stabbing it like, and I will tell you this, I don't know if anybody else in the world does this but me, Chef AJ, but if I get ice cream, obviously vegan ice cream, I take it and I stir it until it's this consistency. I've done it since I was a child and then I eat it. So it's not exactly soft serve, but it's not hard and any ice crystals that would happen, they don't happen in this really. Sometimes you can get what's called an ice wall. And if you're getting ice walls, just leave it, let it sit out maybe 10 minutes. The timing is going to change depending on the weather, the temperature in your house and how cold your freezer is, or run some warm water around it. So that's that. And you said you have questions and I can. Um, yeah, let me go to the chat. So, uh, okay. I'll rinse um, this off while you're doing that. So we right. can do our other. Yeah. So, things. so Gina, and I think Cheryl had the same question. If I have a Ninja Creamy, do you, do I need a deluxe? Absolutely no. not. My point was, is the reason I got this for my birthday is because we, as you know, Gina, you've been to one of my parties and you see how many people are here. <laughs> is I, it's not enough for, for more than two people. And so I wanted one that had a bigger capacity, not because I thought it was better in any way. So if you already have one, unless you're planning on doing a lot of entertaining or eating a lot of ice cream, I, I wouldn't upgrade. But if you don't have one and you want the big one, the company's going to give a 22% discount on my birthday only, which is March 22nd, 2023. My birthday's every year, but that's, they're only doing it for <laughs> this year. And so that's why we're telling you about this one. But I really wanted Kathy to explain the difference of the machines and show us the difference of the buttons. So, I mean, I would say if Kathy, would you agree that if like if you want to call this a benefit, if there is a benefit to the big one, it's because you can do that half spin thing you were telling about? Yes. And I don't think most people are going to use it. Um, but if you want a larger one now for me. I'm probably going to make a lot still in my little one. I have 20 pints because I was recipe developing. And right now I only have two pints for the um, deluxe. It doesn't mean I won't get more either, but you don't. And make sure if you go to Kathy, just look up Kathy Hester on YouTube or look in the show notes. And I do this head to head. I make the creamicino. I make the Italian ice sorbet. I make the slushy, so you can do it. It's not going to be exactly the same way, but a slushy is just like a milkshake with no milk, right? It's not that hard. Wow. It's not that hard to figure it out. And this is so good. I'm so sad I can't share this with you. Me too, because strawberry is probably my favorite ice cream. All right. So we love strawberry too. 
That's so good. And could you have used frozen strawberries if that's all you had? If you defrosted Absolutely. Them? And that's with any recipe as far as fruit goes. Here's the one thing to keep in mind, especially with strawberries and some other fruit. Frozen ones are much less sweet True. than picked ones. And this is why no matter which one you use, what pint you're making, when you're making yours, taste it. And you might be like, I made this 70,000 times, but those 70,000 different batches of strawberries didn't grow at the same time in the same place in the same way. So there's always going to be that variable, just like beans are a variable, right? We don't know how long they were in the store or in the warehouse. So sometimes they take longer to cook. So as if you're always tasting, and again, you can correct right when we do the respin. So instead of putting that tablespoon of milk, I could have put a tablespoon of date paste. I would not put in the respin like chopped dates or something because it's going to be a mix in. It's not going to puree it. So yeah. And things need to be sweeter when you freeze them because they become less sweet after they're frozen, right? <laughs> it is true. I'm kind of hoping that'll help me with this one when we get here, because I made a little, a, an overcorrection last night, but we didn't, we're not making this one for a minute or two. Okay. I'm just So fixing. just to read some of the comments and questions, Stephanie was saying she got a, an ice wall that didn't go away even after re-spinning. Re-spinning won't necessarily take care of an ice wall because the ice wall is the tiny, ooh, here, she said she wonders if she, if she is because she spun it right out of the freezer. No, but that is why the ice wall didn't break down before. So if this fit in, and actually it's probably better for me to show you overhead. Because if this came all the way, see how there's some room, right? If it came all the way, we'd be getting plastic in what we ate. So we're really happy that, that seeing that ice wall means that everything's running well in your Ninja Creamy. So if you find that you're getting one a lot, I would run it around the whole way with like warm water and then let it sit out for a while. That can make the outside start to melt. Sometimes you get an ice bottom as well. So if you do that, that's going to help you. And yes, when you spin it right out of the freezer, it is more likely to be extra cold. So, so that does happen. Um, some people, and I include myself in that, are just kind of like, the ice wall is part of life and I'm okay with it, is how I'm looking at it. Nice. Okay. So uh, Dana says, can we use the respin button without taking the lid off and straightening out the mix? You, you got to take the lid off, don't you? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're meaning, I see what you're saying. What she's saying is, can you spin it? So you have to stop the machine and take the thing out before you can pick another setting. That is one thing. I always check it, else how do you know you want to respin or not? That's what I usually do. So you don't really have to straighten it out. I just do, I always at that point taste it. So I can tell if I want to put a little more non-dairy milk or if I want to put a sweetener or something else in there to correct anything that may have happened during freezing. And if you leave it in there for a long time, like I've had the pints that have been in there for months and they just dry out. They get a little freeze dried, not, I don't, they don't really get a lot of freezer burn, but they're drier and I have to add more liquid and um, maybe do extra respin. Yeah. You know, I, I, you sometimes see these at stores like Costco and Walmart, but I haven't seen the deluxe yet at those stores. Have you? I've only seen mm -hmm. the regular. I don't know if they're going to come out with a big hoo-ha this summer, maybe is what I'm thinking. They definitely have done all the things like there's three manuals for it. There's all the recipes. And if you, if you get the Ninja Creamy Deluxe and you're wanting like at some point, I'll probably make all the recipes for the deluxe too, but literally you just do one and a half an original recipe. So if it was in, if it was two, it's basically you're going from two cups of stuff to three cups of stuff. So it's really easy. And 
as I teach you, it's not rocket science. It's not, oh no, you put one drop to one drop vanilla too much. Now the whole thing is ruined. Throw it out and start again. No, that is not my game. My game is, oh, it'll be delicious. Let's just maybe add a little extra this next time, right? We're always learning. And don't forget, I know you're forgetting now because it's the winter, but you can make frozen smoothie bowls. Ice cream for breakfast, I'm in. You can put greens in it, dragon fruit, all the stuff you put in your smoothies. And I think it's Dr. Greger and a few other people say that if you're going to have a smoothie, Having a smoothie bowl is better because you still engage your mouth in digestion. If you don't believe in smoothies or smoothie bowls, you don't have to make them. You can make a smoothie recipe and have that for your dessert and sneak some more greens into your family, right? So there's all different little ways you can do things. Nice. Okay. Hey, Kathy, do you think there's any reason I should keep my original now that I got this one other than in case God forbid it breaks? Because, you know, Dr. Doug Lyle, he lives near me and he came for dinner and he was blown away by this machine. And so I want to give him my other one. Will he love me more if I say yes? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, there's no, there's no reason then to, I mean, it takes up too much room. I'm not going to be double spinning, right? Right. You probably won't, but you could. So you could have, you. okay, here's why you might keep both is that if you have a party, you could spend two different flavors or something like that. It all depends on you. Like I have a backup of this from where I was recipe developing. So like, and I'm doing a lot of research on milk makers and I've done two videos doing the Nutrimilk that you helped me get, which is awesome. But it's, I have nine milk makers right now. I won't keep them all. So I think that you should give it away unless you really feel strongly yeah. about it. I know I, I want to give it away, but I just, you know, I just, I, I want to, I want to play with this one a little bit first. I still have all the frozen pines for the small ones. So I better, I better spin those pretty <laughs> soon before, uh, cause I'm, I want to give it to them with the pints there, you know? So oh, Apple yeah. says, does the lower fat content make our spins icy rather than creamy? They can. So here's what the thing is, is it's a matter of kind of how thick you make the mi mixture and fiber helps a lot. So like, I like using whole dates whenever possible because you've got the fiber from that or the fiber in the pineapple, the fiber in the applesauce even. And so I like using oats and you can do it just oats, but I do find using mostly oats with a tiny bit of like, or, or you could use some soy milk, just something that has just a little bit of natural fat does make it a little creamier. But applesauce and dates comes out pretty daggone creamy all on its own. Like it's kind of magic. So apple, that's what I would say. Sometimes it depends on your ingredients, but I can help you if you're having some mixtures that are not coming out perfectly. So email me. Apple knows my email. Great. Thank you. Let's see what else we got. Stephanie says, I didn't finish my smoothie yesterday and poured the rest into a container and wondered if that was a mistake because my smoothie had ice cubes in there. Ice. Oh, was it for a Ninja Creamy container? If it's in a Ninja Creamy container, do not put ice or water. Do not. It is. And they state all over, not a blender, like with big things like that. So what we also can't do is freeze water and try and spin it. Well, you can, but you will just be throwing all your money away because it's going to break the machine. It just is. So that is also why, and again, <laughs> Ninja Creamy was kind of, their develop, recipe developers were coming across with this perfect fat sugar ratio. And then without the sugar, this perfect fat ratio. And we're coming from it from this whole food plant-based and I think of it as more of like a fiber ratio even though it's not exactly true but we're using whole fruits we're putting in whole oats right we're not straining out that oat milk and things like that Maybe and sense. I want to show you one thing and then I'll keep answering questions before this melts too much for me to do it yeah, one more. She said, so do I need to thaw the creamy container, then pour it back into the blender and not spin it at all in the Ninja? What I would do literally is I would thaw it. 
put it in the blender and then put it either if you're going to drink it right then you could drink it right then if you're not then I would just put it back in the creamy pint all blended up that's all and it's just that we are trying to do something that the ninja people weren't counting on so that's why I'm very cautious about how we do these things so these pints have a couple of different things this is the freeze fill line and this is maximum scoopable up here or drinkable pour in and we're going to make a creamy chino um with ticino and i'll show you what that is and you could use any coffee substitute so and we'll talk about that but and see how it's starting to leak out so i just don't want to pour it everywhere so for this one when i did the strawberry i filled it up to the scoopable maximum if you don't let's say you're you wanted to use a recipe for a the original creamy pint and you just can't math today is not your math day you can put the two cups in here ta-da and it's going to work just fine. So that's something to know too. And then with these drinks, so that slushies, cocktails, or what do they call it? Frozen, creamy chino, frozen drink, slushy milkshake. You want to have stuff frozen to here. Although milkshake, you can scoop out from somewhere else. And then we're going to add some liquid to the pourable line. And now we'll take any questions that you have for me. Kathy, if, if you know, you know, you need to respin when it's crumbly, right? Right. And do you always recommend adding just the smallest amount of plant milk before you respin? You know, from my experience, yes. And especially if you are like me and you don't take any of my advice, you don't pour any water on the ice wall, even though it irritates you. I do that. You pull it straight from the fridge, plunk it right in then yes, you are all, and you're doing a whole food plant-based recipe, meaning not using coconut milk or something like that. Yes, it, it's going to need a little extra help. And the thing is, is the little extra help really is, is nothing. So yeah, I would say you almost always need to respin. If you are diligent about, I am not having that ice wall and you are, you know, running it under some warm water, you're letting it sit out for a while, you may not have to respin. Nice. Okay, let's see if there's any, I, now I just want to go do it, you know? I know, go, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm so sad you're not here. And oh, and I'll show while you're looking for the questions. So I had found some Ticino that has, um, it's like a toasted maple flavor. It's, and it has mushroom in it, which sounds disgusting, but it's really tasty. Um, so, and Chef AJ, I know you have another grain coffee that you like. Yeah, I love the thing called Say Me. I use it in my date shake. And then for some reason, when we spin it, it tastes like chocolate ice cream, but there's no chocolate in it. It's so weird. Oh, in this one, I think there's some carob. I wonder if there's carob in that one too. So no, it's I one ingredient. It's brown rice only. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. And see, this is like carob pods, chicory root, turkey <laughs> tail extract, stuff like that. So, and it smells really good. And I made um, yesterday in a live, I made a non-alcoholic vegan um, Irish cream. So I took some, I brewed some of that and put some of this into here. So we could either, the way their cremacino says is like to use like, we're not doing this recipe. It's like a third of a cup of granulated sugar, a cup of coffee, and three quarters of a cup of half and half. So let's look at that and see how I looked at that and made this. So I used three quarters of a cup of my Irish cream, which was made with cashews and toasted almonds because it's a special thing. So could you make it with oats? Absolutely. And it has like some cacao powder, some nutmeg, some cinnamon, date paste in it already. And I used a non-alcoholic, zero alcohol combination of uh, an American malt and a Highland malt from Liars. And there is some sugar in that, just so everybody knows. You could probably replicate it by brewing some um, Lapsong smoky tea, maybe adding in a few herbs, maybe a little bit of rosemary. And I think you could get kind of that base whiskey peatiness. It's not a one for one. Okay, so 
I did that and I used my not coffee, right? My uh, Ticino. And then for, I made that be the half and half. If I was just doing it now, it would be my oat milk or my soy milk or my pecan milk that I have in there from all the demos this week. And then we're just going to pour in, they say to pour in more coffee. This is very dark for me. So I am going to pour in oat milk. And I'm just going to take that oat milk and pour it in on top of it to the line. This is what's very different as far as instructions and in looking at this. So you can use any sweetener you want. So you could use dates. You can use any coffee, which means you, I may, I use cold brew when I make mine. You can make decaf cold brew. If, so you can still have a cold brew without caffeine, which you can't get anywhere at all. And certainly they don't have Ticino or Chef AJ's brown rice coffee cold brewed everywhere ready for you to have a date sweetened frappuccino or cremacino. Okay, so we pour in the drinkable, then we close it. And I'm, I'm checking this because it's been a few months since I've made one. Okay, so we put it in here, turn it on and see how it just starts flashing at you. That's gonna be full. Right, and then I'm gonna um, do, we're gonna select Cremacino. Can you guys kind of see that a little bit, the dots there? And then we're gonna press start. So the one thing that's different with this is it has the capabilities and it's known for this inch of liquid so it's programmed into the deluxe hey we don't have to work so hard until we get to the frozen part so if we were going to make this in our original we would maybe fill up half a pint with a blend of sweetened cold brew or cold grain coffee of your choice non-dairy milk and sweetener of your choice and freeze it only about half of it. And then what I would do is I would spin it on light ice cream. And then I go ahead and scrape around for the ice walls, things like that, get everything mixed in really good. Then I would add in, I would add in some more non-dairy milk. You might add in some more um, grain coffee or cold brew, depending if you like yours milkier or stronger and the first round you can taste that and see if you need to make it any sweeter as well and so then i would do the milkshake setting and that's how you can kind of make the same thing and you can kind of see at the top see how things are moving around as it's kind of you can tell Actually, I'll point it out to you. You can kind of see the colors changing. Sorry, we're coming so close. Right in there, it's about right in there. It pulls it up and you can see it a little bit around the sides. The more it, <laughs> I'm like, let me get away from the airplane. <laughs> the more it blends, the less you're gonna see these different colors. But I can see from the top that there's a little bit of it moving around. And this is kind of, to me, one of the big selling points. If you didn't want to get the Ninja Creamy because you're not so into the ice cream and you like to have these frozen drinks, be it um, a frozen coffee drink, milkshakes, and like when it's saying frozen drinks, you can make like using different citrus fruits, dates, you could make a mock margarita in there really easily. So it's kind of like a sorbet slushy too. So there's just little different things like that because they're expensive. I mean, vegan ice cream has gotten very expensive, but you can't even buy at the store whole food plant-based vegan ice cream. Chef AJ, maybe you can where you are. 
You mean uh, if you can buy already pre-made vegan ice cream at the store? Where'd she go? Can you hear me, Kath? Oh, you're muting yourself. Okay. How many people already have the Ninja Creamy? Let's hear from you in the chat. I'd love to know. And does anyone have the Deluxe? I just found out about it. I was very excited. I don't even know who's on the show tomorrow. Let's see. Better find out pretty soon because I got to announce it. Week three. Oh, Nandita Shah. About people that have recovered from cancer. Oh, you got the deluxe, Brenda, and you love it. That's fantastic. Karen has the regular one. Lisa has the original and loves it. Judy has the deluxe. How, guys, how long has this been out? How come I never hear about things? I'm not even sure how I even heard about it. But don't, don't, you know what I think you should do, guys, is if you keep it out on your counter like I do, you'll use it more. But if you have to like dig into a cabinet or a pantry and bring it out and schlep it out every time. So the things that I use all the time, my eight quart instant pot, my Breville air fryer, these are the things that I have, you know, the little thing that you plug in to do boiling water for tea, this, the things that I know I want to use all the time, I keep them out and then they're visually, I see them and then I remember to use them. You're afraid you'd eat way too much ice cream, but it's just fruit. So what's the difference? I mean, all I do is smash bananas and open up cans of pineapple for the most part. I'm too lazy to make the actual recipe. So, I mean, if you can eat a can of fruit, then I don't think you're going to be in trouble. I think it's a lot more satisfying to eat it as a dole whip than it is just to eat canned pineapple. But hey, you got to know yourself, right? Um, Karen has the regular one. She's looked at the deluxe on QVC. What does it sell for on QVC, Karen? Because the company is giving $50 off just on my birthday. So hopefully that's a competitive or a good price. Um, Brenda says can have weekly nice cream parties. Yeah, this is great. Somebody's saying they use it for their book club. Love it. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, Cindy, we're not trying to get you to buy this big one if you already have one. We really, I really, the purpose of doing this was so I could learn how to use it. And you could learn too. And if you didn't have one, especially if, listen, if you're one person, I don't think you need the big one. But for someone like Sharon McRae, I mean, she's a family of five and she's got to spin like three just to feed them, you know? So this would have been a good choice for her if they had had it when she ordered. Uh, Cindy says, I'm not sure I would trade for the deluxe. It was a splurge to buy the creamy. This thing is way too heavy to haul it in and out of a cupboard pantry. I would so love more recipes for the nice cream. The Dole is amazing. Cindy, are you familiar with Kathy Hester's Ninja Creamy Experience? Because there's lots of recipes in there. And plus also just ones on her YouTube channel. And there's just a few on mine. Uh, QVC was $250. So I think the price they're giving me is a little bit better. Let me double check. Uh, for my birthday, you'll be able to get it for... Let's see. It says it takes it down. The one that's two twenty nine goes down to, oh yeah, when it goes down to one ninety four. So that's pretty good. Fifty dollars off. Not yeah. bad. Yeah, that's not bad, guys. If you're gonna get it, uh, get it on my birthday. That's that's a pretty good price for the deluxe, if you ask me. Yep. I'm digging my frozen Irish coffee. Have you ever done anything with uh, sweet potatoes, Kathy? I've done some with those, yeah. you know, those purple potatoes, not the ones that are, you know, they're purple sweet potatoes. I think they're called Stokes and I've blended them with banana and vanilla and it's fantastic in the creamy. Yeah. The Stokes are really good. And so are just like the Ubi, I think it's Ubi, U-B-E ones are really good too, that sometimes you can find the in the Asian market. The Stokes potatoes are from North Carolina. They're from Stokes County actually but so this is just kind of what it looks as if you're like that's way too thick i'm not interested you can put more liquid in this is exactly how i like mine i like it thick and i like to feel really chilly when it's all done mm. and i've been making uh, over the summer um and actually i think it was apple was making kind of overnight oats but making them in the ninja creamy which I thought was kind of a brilliant thing to do. 
and I was making like a London fog. So like an Earl Grey tea with um, an oat cream and some dates and a little bit of vanilla. And I would have that on the hottest days as my morning beverage. So nice. there's, yeah. Did you ever want to be an engineer? Because it seems like you, you have the mind of an engineer, the way you're able to like, just figure out these machines, you know? Well, I think I used to be a web developer, so there's a little bit of that, but I'm definitely like solving problems. And one of the reasons I like appliances so much is that I feel like not everybody needs every appliance or anything like that. But I think once you find a couple of appliances that make your life easier, or at this moment, like I feel like this is a money saver. And I feel like the plant milk makers are money savers because now, what is it, a quart or a half gallon of Oatly is almost $6? Oh my God, you know, a little pint of ice cream, vegan ice cream, whether it has sugar or not in the grocery store, like Rayleigh, it's like $9. It's, it's very expensive right now. I mean, I've noticed, it makes me feel like I'm 90 when I say this, but it's like inflation really did. Things doubled up very quickly the past, what, 12 months? And so I feel like, even though the price of oats has gone up a little bit, I get a big giant thing of oats that are organic sprouted oats at Costco with that, like whatever, 15 or $20 for a big bag that I, it's probably less than that. I think I got it on sale for $10 the other day. I can make dozens of Ninja Creamy Pints. I can make you know, all the milk or creamers or anything, yogurt, anything we want for a couple of months. So it's so much less expensive. So it's just a matter of figuring out which one of these you need for your family. Same thing, like if you go and you watch, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see me like talk about all the different milk makers, because there's not necessarily one that's right for everybody. But you just find out what works for you. You yeah. hate straining milk, there's some for you. If you hate, you know, having stuff in your fridge, there's one you can make stuff every day. And I feel like the same thing. It's what you put in your pints and what comes out of that. So like at Lidl and Aldi's, you can get really expen inexpensive crushed pineapple, applesauce. You can get organics of those as well. So even if you're like, well, I don't want to have a bunch of oat cream and oat cream is not anywhere near as high in things as cream cream. It's just a texture is similar, just so you know that too. But like you can take your favorite fruits as the years go on. I made um, a butter pecan for obviously not real butter pecan, but one made with pecans for Cheryl. And it was, she was just thrilled. She's like, this is better than the real thing. And I think it's a matter of your family too. What's the buy-in on your diet and eating whole food plant-based. If everybody's eating whole food plant-based, they should be on team Ninja Creamy ice cream. And it, even if they're not so much, no one turns down Dole Whip. Disney has proven that to us, right? There's lines of everything. All they have to do is like, oh, now it's lime Dole Whip and everyone loses their mind. Oh my God, they have lime Dole Whip? Is it lime pineapple? <laughs> no, and, and actually you, you should not make the Dole Whip mix, you, though you could in your Ninja Creamy. It is not whole food plant-based. If you start looking at the ingredients, because you can buy it on Amazon Dole Whip mix. And I was very shocked. So I'm like, I always just thought it was just pure pineapple. And now I know mine is even better than that. But I know someone who bought the lime um, Dole mix because she really missed that in particular. But I tell you what, I think you could take the, the, um, pineapple can of pineapple I would do lime zest maybe even a dash of coconut flavoring if you feel so bold and I think that would be amazing and you could squeeze some lime juice in there too but what really happens with citrus zest and use like a real small do I even have my small zest? this is my big zester if you have a smaller one 
because what happens is the oils come out. So you can buy lime oil or there's really just super flavor nodules right there in the zest. It'll taste way better. Nice. Well, Kathy, you are a machine wizard, literally. Uh, Carol says, I wouldn't have ice cream without my creamy. It keeps me from cheating, especially in the mm -hmm. summer. Yeah. Um, Marie says she has the original creamy, but haven't, hasn't used it yet, yet, but all the wonderful information Kathy has given now, I now have the courage to try it. Much appreciation to both of us. Yeah. I mean, you really demystify machines, you know? And, and don't forget the Ninja Creamy experience is usually like $97. It's like 49, I think with the discount code that's in the show notes. And I'm pretty sure I have a link just to the ebook. Um, the experience has the ebook, it has videos, it has six hours of live classes that have been recorded. And, you know, there's, you get me, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if you put a link to the book, but you can check the show notes when we're done, just to be sure. Okay. And I may not have, if you want to, what you guys can do is if I didn't put the link to just the book, if you want, there are two ways you can get it. If you want it on your Kindle, you can look for Dairy Free Ninja Creamy e a cookbook on Amazon. I made it a little different. It's got all the same recipes. Or email me at kathyhester at gmail.com with the subject line. Give me the book link. And I'll give you both. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Kathy. I'll see you in a couple of weeks for your regular programming. When you come back on Chef AJ Live, I think you're going to do something either Eastery or Passovery. Still deciding, but something yummy, I promise. All right. You're the best, man. You are just, uh, now I'm not afraid to try this. So I first have to use my four pints that are there and then uh, I'll try your strawberry ice cream. That sounds lovely. And you've got me on speed dial. So. I know, absolutely. I was like, help, help. You're so great. Thanks for answering my call. I really appreciate it. Well, you're the best. I'm always happy to get to hang out with you. All right. Well, thanks so much, Kathy. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow when my guest is Dr. Nandita Shah. She is going to be talking about curing cancer and have some testimonials from some of her patients who actually have recovered.